She see money all around me I look like I'm the man Yeah, but I was Okay, so this is my little setup So this is how the frontal comes I'm just gonna take it out of the little bag And take the netting off And you can see how the frontal looks Before I do anything to it This frontal is um, pre-plugged And it does have baby hairs on it already But I'm still gonna show you what I do Start to finish so first, I'm going to just secure the frontal onto the styrofoam head, and I'm going to pull the lace taut so that it will lay flat, and I'm going to use T-pins to secure it. Once it's all secured, I'm going to use these duck bill clips to get the hair out of the way. So I'm just going to pull the hair back and I'm going to use some clips so that the hair isn't all in my way while I am plucking. So to start plucking, I'm just going to be using a rat tail comb and my tweezers. And when I start off, I'm just going to start off by plucking away at the hairline. No strategy or anything. Uh, just kind of going at it to get rid of that exact line in the front and also just take away some general bulk, bulk that is up at the front and make sure that you are combing in between to get all those loose hairs because you're going to get a huge ball of hair when you are done so once i've done the random plucking i'm going to start parting the hair so i'm just going to part um a little bit away from the hairline and pluck right on that part and this is just going to help to further thin out the hairline because no one's hairline is super thick at the front. And even though this uh, frontal is pre-plugged, you still want to do something to it. But it does help if you are new or don't want to spend that much time. Um, a pre-plugged frontal is definitely the way to go. So as you can see, I'm just parting and plucking. And eventually it will look thinner than the other side that I have not done. And make sure that you are doing this in parts. I don't know if I already said that. But you want to do one side at a time. Don't try to do the entire hairline. Because it will probably take longer and you'll probably get a little frustrated. So just work one side at a time. So I'm just going to keep looking and wherever I see some thickness, I'm just going to keep plucking away until it is looking more natural. So, so far, this is how it's looking. So this is the side that I have been plucking away at and this is the side that I haven't. So you can see that it's starting to look more natural. So now I'm going to start parting the hair horizontally and doing the exact same thing. But this is just so, um, once again, to get rid of some of the bulk, but also for when you part your hair in different areas, that the part does not look super thin. Um, since a front, so you can definitely part it anywhere. You definitely want to do this step so that your parts look more natural um, when you decide to part it in different areas. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process on the other side of the head and then I'm going to start on the top. So the top of your hair is usually more thick than the sides. So you don't have to do too much plucking but you still do want to do something. So I'm going to do the exact same thing and just kind of randomly pluck at the hairline to get rid of the uh, straight line that is um, there. And then I'm also going to part it slightly. I'm not going to part it as much as I do the sides but I'm still going to do a little bit of the parting. And plucking to get rid of some of the bulk, but not too, too much. And this is what it looks like when my entire frontal is done. Um, it looks a lot more natural. And you'll be able to kind of wear your hair. However, if you do, just take your time. And since I didn't have my camera lights on, I just used my phone light. So you can see it a little bit better. Um, so, yeah. So now we can move on to the 
next part in customizing your frontal and as you can see there are just these like black dots at the root of the hair which just doesn't look natural so you want to bleach the knots so I'm just going to lay out a piece of aluminum foil that is a little bit longer than the length of the frontal and um, just show you guys the frontal again off of the mannequin head and I'm just going to lay it down uh, with the lace up on to the aluminum foil and then I'm just going to start the process so to bleach your knots you're going to need some powder lightener and some um, developer I use the 30 volume so I'm going to pour the entire packet of that powder lightener I like using packets because I can know exactly how much I need so I use a full packet and then some developer and I'm just going to mix that up and you want to make sure that the consistency is pretty thick like pancake batter um, probably even thicker than that really because um, you don't want the developer or the bleach or whatever to get onto the actual hair because then you'll have blonde hair and you don't probably want that so I'm just going to apply that onto the front so using a light hand and I'm going to start with the uh, like the hairline and then I'm going to do the middle of the frontal and then kind of spread it out from there because I want to get the parts that are most important uh, first and then I'll get the rest and then once I am done um, applying the bleach I'm going to flip the frontal over so that the lace is laying face down on to the aluminum foil and this just helps so that it doesn't get onto the hair. So it's been about 20-25 minutes. I don't really know how long it's been honestly but I want to say it's 20 to 25 minutes and I just go in and check the uh, frontal so I just kind of part it with my fingers um, to make sure that the roots um, have changed. So once I know that it's done I'm going to rinse that out so I'm just going to take it off of the aluminum foil and rinse it and I'm going to use the shimmer lights um, shampoo and this is good for when you do this because it will get rid of the brassiness color and um, so I like to use this when I am bleaching my knots. So I'm just going to use that to make sure that the process stops and to um, just get rid of the brassiness and cleaning and whatnot. So after I have shampooed the hair, I'm gonna move on to the very last step, which isn't a necessity, but if you are brown skin, dark skin like I am, you definitely wanna do this. So I'm going to use like 12 ounces, I think, of boiling hot water, and I'm going to use the Adore Dark Chocolate Semi-Permanent Hair Dye and I'm going to use about a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half. I don't measure like anything, you guys. But I want to say a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. And um, just mix that in there. And then you just want to put the frontal in there. Make sure that all of the lace is submerged in the water. And you just want to leave that on there. Probably like five minutes, but it really depends on your skin tone. Um, I probably have mine on there like seven minutes. Um, just to make sure that it did... Um, tint the lace and you can just keep checking it to uh, make sure that it has gotten deeper um, so that's pretty much it for this video I'm um, sorry I did not show you guys the final products of the frontal like alone um, but hopefully the clips show you enough um, but the main thing when it comes to customizing your frontal is taking your time and doing all the proper steps that you need um, like Doing one side at a time and parting the hair to pluck it and bleaching your knots and tinting the lace because that will just result in a very, very natural looking frontal. So that's it for this video. If you guys learned a thing or two, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any more videos from me. And hit the little bell so that you are notified when I do post. And that's it. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.